Hey guys, Baron here, back with another LEGO review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new LEGO Marvel Super Hero set. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is set number 76036. This is Carnage's Shield Sky Attack. It's a very, very cool set that I was waiting for to come out. Um, looking forward to it. Actually, it was supposed to be out in uh, August, but I went to my local Toys R Us uh, yesterday, and uh, they had had a lot of the new stuff for uh, Friends, for Elves, and for... Um, for Marvel superheroes. Now they did not have the um, the new Star Wars sets, but we're actually going to get those on Force Friday. So we'll do a review on those in due time. But um, this is a set that I was actually really, really looking forward to getting uh, for a long time, mainly for the um, for the minifigure that we have of Carnage there. A uh, really, really cool print, and uh, we'll look at him here in a second. First off, uh, we'll take a look at the uh, minis that we get. Um, we get a really cool version of the Miles Morales Spider-Man costume here. Uh, he was a little bit different of a character. It was a uh, one of the uh, periods of time in the comics when uh, in Ultimate Spider-Man uh, lore, somewhere around uh, 2010 or 2011, uh, they reinvigorated uh, the uh, kind of branding a little bit. And I'm not sure if uh, Peter Parker had died or um, if there was just another uh, young African-American kid that had picked up the uh, the mantle there for a bit, but it kind of showed that um, they were kind of going in a different direction. So this is a cool, uh, very cool uh, Spider-Man printing to get here with this all kind of all black and red color scheme there. And then it's kind of hard to notice from the eyes, but uh, Jang mentioned it also in his video, and you can definitely tell that there's like a kind of like a loot, uh, kind of like a light baby blue printing there for his uh, for his eyes, kind of on top of it to give it a little bit more depth, which I think is really cool. Also, uh, printing on the back, got the little red spider there. Of course, his red hands, which is very, very neat. The uh, minifigure that I was most looking forward to getting was uh, Carnage here. It's a very, very cool minifigure. I was waiting for this one for quite some time. And uh, to be able to get it this early was just amazing. So the, uh, the figure that we get for him, if we can get some good focus on it here, um, is actually the most printed, uh, definitely the most printed figure that I've seen so far. Um, he's got this little assembly here on his back that uh, allows him to kind of, you can kind of see how they use this Technic assembly here to be able to get the different um, kind of those red colored, those recolored vine tentacles uh, to kind of look kind of like they're sprawling out. And the uh, alien symbiote was very definitely kind of crazy, so it makes sense that he would have all these different weird appendages coming out. He's got a, another one coming off of his arm like he's generated a new arm for himself or something. But... Um, Carnage, uh, definitely one of my favorite characters in the Spider-Man universe. Um, kind of another alien symbiote, uh, very much like Venom, but uh, it was like a combination of a very, uh, very angry uh, alien symbiote, and then also uh, Cletus Cassidy, a very angry uh, serial killer individual already that was uh, in prison, so made for a, a much more violent combination than even Venom to Spider-Man, so uh, very cool, all red and black. Uh, printing here. He's got printing on the uh, on the head, on the back of the head, on the arms, on the front and the back and the torso, on the legs, and even uh, even he's got a little printing here on just that little belt piece in the middle. So very very cool. I thought it was amazing how much printing that they were able to put on a minifigure, especially of this size and of this quality, being with it being a small set. And then uh, so thought that was worth taking quite a good look at and then also uh we the main little bit here we have a kind of a shield scout type uh quinjet almost type design uh kind of looks like a uh, kind of almost looks like a uh, fallout vertibird in its shape kind of how it swoops down and how it's got these uh kind of low low flying thrusters here on the bottom and then also in its uh, kind of quinjet uh, kind of ability or, or that kind of shape in geometry dude as well as as it has that kind of fold down design in that the uh, wings are all ratcheted get some nice printed pieces and uh, there's also another couple of uh, sticker pieces there's a sticker that I believe goes on the very front a little small one that goes on the front of the windshield here and then also a shield logo here but I've just chosen to omit all the stickers off mine I figured it kind of brings the look of the set down a little bit but um, that's just my opinion most people will probably want to see those on there but uh, we get a nice cool little uh, windscreen here it's got a lot of uh, interesting little angles to it and uh, as we can see that uh, just connects there with the the standard kind of two clip design there 
the uh, minifigure that we get is actually pretty interesting. It looks like, um, now they haven't said anywhere in here, and they don't give you, um, they don't give you any kind of, um, of brown hairpiece for it, but it almost looks like Phil Coulson. Now, it's tough to get, I don't think we'll be able to get a good focus on it. There we go. But he's got a very happy kind of demeanor. Uh, he's got his blue and white uh, shield uniform, also uh, kind of kind of reminiscent of what we would have seen a classic comic book Nick Fury kind of looking like. And with this uh, black pilot's helmet on, it almost looks like a, a little Coulson minifigure there. Of course, I, uh, I'm not sure if they've made one yet, but it's cool to imagine. And then uh, the that would be the third minifigure that we get. And uh, at the, uh, I think this is a $12.99 or $14.99 price point. Um, it's actually a really cool little build. I found uh, a lot of these little um, elements quite interesting, the way they chose to uh, kind of build up a base here. And then you've got kind of like a, a Technic assembly attachment here for this back thruster. And then also there is um, little attachments on the side built around for what the, um, for what the uh, ship kind of holds. Uh, there's a little bit of um, also detailing put into the fact that another thing that it holds, it uh, is built also around a uh, kind of like one of those light gray, light bluish gray mailboxes. And uh, you can see a lot of um, detail went into making that kind of fit in with the whole design of how the ship is. And it doesn't look like it's too obvious or anything. It uh, all together goes, goes together really well. Got uh, some nice little uh, circular pieces here around the thrusters. And then one of those newer... Um, kind of bracket pieces there to kind of give the uh, give the bird some structure there. And then also get these kind of uh, plate style uh, brick built. Uh, this would be the stud shooter variety. And uh, really cool how they kind of put those on there. Gave us some bright, uh, transparent neon orange uh, extra blast shots there. So all in all, thought it was a really cool set. They also uh, give you a... Um, they also give you a uh, super jumper for Spider-Man if you want to uh, go ahead and take out Carnage, or you could also uh, give it to Carnage and make it look like he's uh, kind of using his tentacles to be elevated off the ground. So I thought I'd, thought I'd mention that also that it, that it, the uh, set set includes. So all in all, very cool set. Was uh, really really excited to see this set so early, and I uh, thought I should definitely um, do a review on it for you guys. And um, to be sure to leave a comment below and tell us what you think. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll be seeing all the content coming from us very, very soon. We've got a, another Friends video on the way. You guys be sure to have a great day.